okay, I will let him know. What up, Rick? You good? Hey, uh, yeah, I just got off the phone with Othello Ockham's assistant, and, uh, the big boss man wants to see you. What about? I mean, he's not one of those super hands-on GMs, is he? Nah, I mean, that's not really his reputation. So... Honestly, I don't know what this is about, man. I mean, I tried to press his assistant for some more info, but all he told me was that Coach Graves will be there, too. Um, okay. Something about this feels off. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. You got any advice? Go in there with an open mind, see what they want to talk about, and come back here and we'll talk about it. All right. Bet. Hey, Olive. MP, how are you? Well, I can't complain. A little nervous, but I can't complain. Uh, it looks like you're with Mr. Akpem today. Yeah. Uh, where is he again? Same floor as Mr. Novak. Okay. Uh, you got any advice for me? On talking to Mr. Akpem? Yeah, well, you, you've you been working here for some time, you know. Oh, I don't really know him like that. Um, but you're a smart guy. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to be fine. How do you know I'm a smart guy, though? <laughs> I can read people, and you're smart. Cool, thank you, but uh, okay, so what number am I thinking of right now? I said I could read people, I'm not psychic. I, it's it's kind of the same difference, a little bit. It's a little different. <laughs> Aren't you gonna be late for your meeting? Yeah, I probably will be. Um, same elevator as usual? Yes, they haven't moved. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, well, it's nice chatting with you. Uh, I'll see you later. Good luck. Thank you. Flirting with the girl with the MP. horse teeth, veneer Come ass girl. Take a seat. What's up, MP? Coach Graves. <laughs> it's the Ock Pim. What'd I tell you about that? Othella, please. I mean, my bad, you got it. So, about Shep. Oh, boy, you too. Now just listen. We knew the PR hit we'd take for picking you over him. But that's all just outside noise. Inside these walls, all we care about is ball. All right, well, I'm willing to put in the work. On and off the court. So whatever it takes. I actually spoke to Freddie Novak. You talked uh, to Freddie? Did I do something wrong by talking to Freddie? Freddie's a nice guy. I like him. But all this stuff about controlling your own narrative, you're a ball player, not a politician. Facts. We put together a very specific game plan for you. You hit these goals, you're in the starting lineup. Simple as that. Five games, points, assists, rebounds. Okay. All right. We could do that. That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing, man. Okay, Freddie made it seem like I had to do a bunch of PR stuff just to get my shot with the starters. That's flat out wrong. This Shep stuff has nothing, I repeat, nothing to do with your playing time. I want you to focus on your craft, not this PR stuff. Am I clear? Crystal clear. Good. I don't need to keep you. But if you ever want to talk, or if Freddie gives you a hard time, whatever, my door is always open. All right. Thank you, Mr. Ockpen. Othella. Don't mention it. Thank me by putting in the work. Othella. See you, coach. See ya. Othella. <laughs> Sounds good, Jerry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll link up with you later, man. All right, have a great one. Yo, you, you want me to come back? No, 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 you good, you good. You sure? Yeah, I just wanted to talk with you about your meeting with Othella. <sighs> to be honest with you, man, uh, <laughs> I'm a little confused. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might say that. Yeah. So you know something? Man, I'm all over it. So what's your take on it then, man? And one ear, I got Freddy tell me one thing, and the other I have Othello basically forbidding me to talk to Freddy. Oh, well, he forbid you? Well, not exactly, but he's not happy that I'm talking to him. I mean, the thing is, you know, when you're over the fans, I'm all for. It is my thing, it's a great idea, it's well-researched. But Rick, man, if it's me stepping on people's toes, I'm not for it. Look, I don't wanna make the coaching staff angry. That's not gonna happen, all right? So what's the plan, man? <laughs> well, first of all, relax. All right, everything's fine, man. It's just a little palace entry. That's all. Palace entry. All right, sure. Look, your president of basketball ops, Phil Boyer, mm -hmm. he's feeling the heat right now. He underestimated the PR hit that he would take by drafting you while Shep is still on the board. And optics, for better or worse, are very important for a man in his position. Yeah, I mean, he's got a career to consider, so I get it. Okay, so if you take this whole thing seriously, it'll do a great deal of getting you ahead. 
Mm, okay. Well, like I said, I, I'm down for whatever. Just say the word. All right, that's good. That's good. But meanwhile, you still got Othello Akpim thinking that Freddy's some existential threat. A threat? Yeah. Yo, bro, what is he, like, angling for his job? Dude is in marketing, man. I don't know. Stranger things have happened, man. Wow. Uh, I don't know. Dude seemed pretty straightforward to me. I mean, that was my read, too, but... I mean, that don't mean Othello's not worried. Look, the way he sees it, Phil's legacy is tied to you, which means that Freddy's got his ear because you come with a lot of media baggage. Okay, again, that part makes sense. Okay, plus you got the whole data-driven angle. You gotta remember, Othello's old school, like a real yeah. scouts and chalkboards type. Yeah. Thinks that anybody with a computer is trying to push him out the lead. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right, so all I'm saying is you just gotta, you gotta walk a real fine line here, man. I mean, goes without saying, you have to perform. Yo, the, the funny thing is, that does not seem to be the focus right now <laughs> at all. Like, I mean, you want the money, right? Hey, hey. Then this all comes with it. Hey, I ain't complaining. <laughs> I just think it's <laughs> funny, man. <laughs> Look, all this means is that we got to be delicate, all right? So instead of launching this, you know, full-on PR blitz, probably on the lines of what Freddie would want, mm -hmm. let's dip our toes in this whole plan to win over the fans. I think I know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You want slow play. Slow play, it, exactly. Man. All right. It's not like we won't do nothing. We'll just ease into it. Keep Othello and Freddie happy, which keeps Phil happy. Okay. Which makes us one big, happy, slightly dysfunctional family. Okay, okay, okay. I can... It's all making sense now. Um, so when we start, man. Well, Mila and Ashley are running point on this, so I'm sure they'll hit you up when they got something to say. Yo, let them know whenever, wherever, it don't matter. I'm there, I'm your guy, Okay, Let's okay, I get it. <laughs> Look, in the meantime, you just focus on ball, all right? Hit the goals that Othello and Coach G gave you, win some games maybe, and we're gonna be golden. Win some games? I'm just saying. Hey, that ain't no issue. Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna be. All right, then. <laughs> All right, get out there, man. Yo! Say squad! First and foremost, I know y'all probably like, man, what you doing on the Thunder, bro? I just saw you on the Kings. I got traded. Don't worry about it, man. I got traded. Your boy got traded. It don't matter, man. We on the Thunder now. I'm just going to keep it moving with that lame-ass storyline. But I get the ball, I back him down, I go off the glass, he's too little. You know what I'm saying? He's too little. But like I was saying, I got traded. The Kings has a Sabonis. And Sabonis been balling out. I don't really want to... Ooh, I had to leave that in there. Normally, I'll cut down the footage, but... I had to leave that one in there. I got smashed on. And then I come back and try to get my revenge, but I go up with that weak ass layup. It goes in. And then I block the guy who dunked on me. But check me out. I came to the Kings. I mean, I went to the Kings because I thought maybe they didn't have a big man, but I didn't do my research. They had some bonus. He got traded from the Pacers. I went to the Thunder because Chet Holmridge is hurt. So I could ball out in peace. And I don't understand why I damn oh, it's blocked. It's off the backboard. But I don't see how Chet Holmridge is gonna be a center. He's only 190 pounds. As I back him down, hit him with the drop step and dunk on his ass. Straight up. But yeah, Chet Holmridge, he's injured. He's about a buck 90. How he gonna bang with the with the physical centers as I get the brick, get the rebound, and then get the put back. Straight up. Got I keep saying straight up, man. Because so it's straight up and down, you heard me? He tries to go in for the layup. Nah, get that out of here. It's a block party already, and it's early in the game. We're going to give it this shot, and he makes the two, baby. Gets the two. Hey, yo, man, SGA. That boy been balling for real in real life, man. You got to give it to him. I'm wide open. I break the shot, but he gets the rebound, and I'm going to try to call Williams for it again. He's to too MP. small. He's on me. I'm about to do what I do, and that's back him down. The and spin the move, kiss it off the glass. glass. Williams but let's talk MP. about this storyline. I said this in the power forward, uh, my career mode. I don't really rock with it. It makes zero sense, man. It makes zero sense. One guy is telling you to win over the fans and that'll help you start. Another guy is basically telling you the real, which is, you know, Othello, he said, you know, play good and we're going we gonna, to we gonna put you out there. It's the end of the first quarter, man. I got 14, 2, 4, and 3. What a nice start to the game. But like I was saying about the Othello thing, man, look, since when has playing – any sport, depending on if someone on Twitter rock with you. Well, it looks like hitting the Stupidity. Uh, uh, as I get another block that's four on the night. But check me out. This is the second game of the season, right? And I'm going to tell you why it's the second game of the season that I'm showing y'all instead of showing y'all the first one. Your boy 
Messed up, man. I had a lapse in memory error. And that's a dunk, man. Slam a jammer. <laughs> that was kind of lame. But yeah, man, let me tell y'all. I started to play the first game. Recorded all the dialogue. Recorded about three quarters in. Just to realize that I didn't I didn't put none of my attributes on. So, so I had no dunking animations. I had no free throw animations. All my stuff was not assigned. So I was like, dang, I'm shortchanging y'all. I want y'all to get as much content entertainment off of this as possible. So I dunked on them like that. But, you know, if I would have showed y'all the first video, it wouldn't have been no dunks because I didn't have it on as I block yet another shot. But yeah, man, I had forgot to put the attributes up. Now his dunk is about an 85 or 87. I forgot. But he didn't have any attributes assigned. And I get yet another block. But yeah, I had no attributes assigned. So I was like, man, look, I don't want to cheat y'all. I made a mistake and I stopped recording. I <laughs> stopped recording. And on top of that, I was playing on pro, so everything was super easy. I don't want to play on pro. I had to change the difficulty up because there is no no challenge. And I had to show y'all that I got beat to the punch and got dunked on because I did jump. Even though it wasn't a body, I did jump, and that's still considered a poster. But I go down, and I try to kiss it off the glass, and then I get my poster back. Big key in this one. They've yes, sir. Yo, like I was saying, though, I don't want to play on rookie. I don't think it was rookie that it was on. I think it's pro that you start off on. As the end of the quarter happens, and it's 28, 2, 8, and 6. But back to what I was saying, I don't want to play on, on pro because I feel like that's too easy. I don't want to average 100 points per game. I want it to be some type of difficulty to me playing. You feel what I'm saying? And that rhyme. Straight up, you know, I'd be freestyling every once in a while. If you don't believe I'd be freestyling, I gotta go back and check some of the old videos. But yeah, man, here we are. We're up by three. They had took me out. We back in the middle of the third quarter. I back him down and I kiss it off the glass and go up under the rim and kiss it off the other side. I go ahead and set the pick for my boy. He takes the shot and he misses it, but I go ahead and I get the rebound and go back up and miss the shot, but I get the the free throws. I make one and I make two. I'm still perfect from the free throw line. And this is one of the reasons why as I go in for another kiss off the glass and I'm back at the free throw line and I hit one and I hit two. But yo, check me out. I had to stop it because if I didn't, the free throw animation that I had at first was so trash. So trash. As Jokic put it up, and he tries to go up again and get that up out of here. But yo, the free throw animation I had was so terrible. If I didn't go back and change it as I kiss it off the glass, I wouldn't have probably made those free throws right there. I'm not even going to hold you. And they got this little dude on me like I ain't finna back him down and dunk that thing. Come on, bro. Don't size me like that, man. And he goes for the long range three. It's the end of the quarter. 38 points, two assists, nine rebounds, seven block. Welcome to my block party, party. Welcome to my block party, party. Seven of them things. I'm trying to get that triple double with the 10 blocks and the 10 rebounds. And they take me out, put me back in in the fourth. And we're only up by three. That's 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 what 2K does. You go out by a decent margin, you come back in, and you almost losing or you probably losing. And then I go ahead and get the block. I'm thinking showtime, showtime. He strips me. That is the most fluke. Oh man, I don't even know what to say about that, man. Chili cheese fries ass plate, man. But Denver gets the, they, get, they, they take the lead. I get the dunk and we're back tied up, but they took the lead off of that. And right now it's tied up and they call for the double team. I guess I'm doing too much damage and they call for the double again. But guess what? Diddy's wide open for the three and he got the big Gatorade sign next to his name. So I'm so, I'm so lit that he, 
he hit that shot. I'm, I'm real excited about that, man, because he's belling us out. Let's see. He hits another one, belling us out. We're up by six, man. Jokic goes for the pump fake, and I bite it. He goes in and dunk. That's on your boy. I'll take that. That's on me. That was a poor lapse. But I got 40 points, 4 assists, 12 reads, and 7 of them block things. And Michael Porter Jr. misses the shot, and I get the rebound. And guess what we going to? The free throw line. I make one, and I go ahead and I make the second one. I am flawless from the free throw line. And again, I say this again. I had to go ahead and turn my attributes up and assign those packages because the free throw package I had at first was terrible. I wouldn't have made any of those. It wouldn't have been possible if I didn't go back and do that. So that's why I didn't show y'all the first one. But you do get the second game as I get the rebound and I take the, <laughs> the after time expired shot. But we go ahead and get the dub. We won the first game. This is the second game we won that. Give us some love to Jokic. You know what I'm saying? The, the Nuggets is a really good team in real life. Got to tip your ass to him. But we go ahead and leave up out of here with the dub. I got the goggles on looking real specorific. I don't even know if that's even something cool to say. That boy Giddy, boy, that boy hit two clutch threes. But let's take a look at the stats from your boy Drake Cook. He had 42 points, 15 rebounds, 4 assists, 8 blocks. 78% shooting. Press? No. Uh... I gotta show you something. Just watch this. <laughs> hey, what's MP stand for anyway? Sounds like a phone to me. <laughs> Y'all got that MP29? That, that Nokia joint? <laughs> no, no, you know, I, I think it stands for mostly pathetic. No, 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 no. no. Major pose. <laughs> Missed the point. <laughs> Musty pillow. Oh! <laughs> Yo, why is that so funny, though? I think it's because she's an agent. Usually they're not funny. They're just suits. But this agent, she is very funny. Oh, yeah. She's supposed to be friends with everybody. You know what I mean? That's kind of their deal. Right. That right? is my deal. I'm either your friend or your worst enemy and Ooh. nothing in between. Mm. She you ugly. Ricky Bennett didn't join your agency, Barbara? Oh, come on now. I was just trying to help a brother out. It's not my fault that he doesn't understand the rules of the mm. game. She got a neck like Peyton Manning. I have a serious question for you. Um, what? Why can't you be more of a leader <laughs> like MP? <laughs> why are you going to be so gosh darn selfish all the time, <laughs> P? Man, anyone looking up to that bum now? Good luck leading a team when you buried on the bench. Ooh, <laughs> oh. But you know who I really feel sorry for? Like, Ooh. honestly, his girl. Oh. <laughs> all these NBA right. players. Mm. She stuck with that clown? I mean, realistically, man, he probably got a whole closet full of cardigans and pleated khakis. Right? <laughs> Bro, look at your hairline. Mm. Speaking of, yo, Mila, your boy's single. Hit me up if you ever want to see what it's like to be with a real man. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, I yeah. am not touching that one. Look, this episode is going to do numbers, bro. Was there ever any doubt? <laughs> hey, 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 Chef, any final words you want to say to MP, you know, before the camera dies? Bro, we, we are not in the time. same league. Yeah, 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 for He's sure. He's sorry, man. he trash. I just want to say, your gang's trash, oh, oh. your agent's trash, mm. your girl's trash, mm. and you're trash. Mm. <laughs> Did I forget anything? Girl, agent, no. <laughs> I think you got that covered, buddy. And the mm. next time I see you, I'm going to tell you that to your face. Other than that, you know, uh, just wishing you many blessings, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he's on a bench on his team. You know what? That's real classy. Why would he even mention me? Because he's Shep. Does he need a reason? Yeah, no, he does not. Clown. Look, this means nothing. It's just some loud mouth being a loud mouth. But you do have that Top Takes Daily interview tomorrow. And they're absolutely going to want to ask about this, given yeah, how inflammatory it was. Like I said, it's just, it's, it's no big deal. It is no big <sighs> deal. But we are going to obviously need to strategize your response, OK? So meet me at the business hub after you finished up here. And we'll go over whatever it is we need to go over. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you, Ash. Always keep me in the loop, no matter how painful it is. Thank you literally what you pay me to do. I don't pay you, actually. You know what I mean? See you in a bit.